All right, Charlie fam, well, welcome back to another episode. Today we are gonna try and get out on the kayak on the Indian River, which I haven't fished yet this year. In my last video, we were out on the Fishaholic Rig on the Indian River and caught some sheep's head. If uh, you saw that video, if you missed it, I'll link it down below. But uh, today, uh, I just wanna get out there in the kayak and see if we can troll around or cast around some artificials and uh, see what bites. So stay tuned, I will see you guys at the water. Alright, made it to the water and it looks like we've got a nice outgoing tide right now. So we're gonna try uh, casting this Rapala out behind the kayak and I'm just gonna troll across current and uh, see what's here. Sometimes on an outgoing tide here, fish like to sit like right in front of these bridge pilings. So by trolling this Rapala, it'll kind of go back behind us a little bit and you know, swing in the current as we troll across. And uh, we might be able to get some nice reaction strikes from I would say like bluefish, jack, uh, creval. Uh, it could be some Spanish mackerel in here, uh, possibly some snook. Uh, if we can't get any snook here, we can, you know, hop around to some different areas and uh, use uh, like some swim baits here that I've got tied on to try and get them. So I'm just going to kind of be an open book to catch whatever's willing to bite, really. <clears throat> All right, well, it's been about... 40 minutes and uh, we did a lot of passes in front of the bridge, behind the bridge, and then trolled our way over to this little cove. And I marked some bait fish, but uh, nothing really significant and we didn't have any bites. So uh, just to get out of the wind for a little bit, I came to this cove here and figured we would just cast the rapala to shore and work it out and see if there's any predator species hanging out here. I like that this cove is also like being hit directly by the sun. So there could be some snook in here, maybe feeding or uh, some redfish. I have caught some snook like around the corner of those pine trees in the distance there. So they could be here. Hmm, there's some decent marks right there. Let's try switching to the shad. Oh, just had a bite. Something small. Oh, she got another bite. Huh. It's either like a snapper blue or a small jack or maybe a baby barracuda. I don't know. Some, could have been a baby ladyfish too. Oh, you see that? <laughs> That's what I'm getting bites from. Just a uh, needlefish. Hmm, what to do, what to do. I'm thinking now about trying for flounder actually, because I got these little swim baits and some pro cure. And this area, like with the current we have in this little cove and the bait that I'm marking along the bottom, I'm thinking like, how could there not be some flounder in here like look at that bait right there right along the bottom so i'm just gonna put on a little half ounce jig head we'll thread on this little swim bait looks good load it up with some pro cure And send it down there and we'll drift it along the bottom. Oh, there was a good bite. There's a fish. <laughs> Little uh, baby Jack Creval. <laughs> what a way to start off the day. 
Oh, and he stole my tail. All right, just came up for another drift. Let's see if we can drop down and uh, get a flounder. It looks so good here. You know, I think that there could be some. I've never caught one here, but I just want to put the time in and you know see what's sitting on the bottom. Look at that. Two big manatees just cruising right below the surface. <laughs> kind of cool. Got another fish here. Oh, another little baby jack. This one might be a little bit bigger. Fish on. Feels like something a little better oh no <laughs> what a tease <laughs> we snagged the jack and um you know if you've ever caught flounder like when you hook them they like vibrate the line a little bit so this guy was like wagging his tail and uh for a sec there i thought we possibly had a flounder get them. I'm going to try trolling out and then through like the main channel under the bridge and then kind of cut to the right. So we're going to cover a lot of water and I'll be really surprised if we don't get a bite. Oh, just had a bite. Lost them. Dang, dude. That was felt pretty good too. All right, well, we're taking this Rapala off and I was just flying the drone around for the last like 10 minutes or so. And I spotted some sizable fish sitting along the rocks here. And I'm not really sure what they are. So we switched to this smaller Rapala and uh, we're just gonna work the rocks and see if we can just at least get a bite from something bigger than what we've been catching. They looked like they could have been snook or they could have just been like big mullet. Um, one of the fish that I saw was, you know, probably at least like 25 inches. So that was definitely not a mullet, but it was hard to make out what it was. Hmm. Nothing on the Rapala. I'm going to try the Shad. Cause I'm noticing some finger mullet that's like a little bit bigger than that Rapala, like sitting right in this area. So this will match the hatch a little better. There's a suck. Heck yeah. On the shed. Pretty cool. I've never uh, caught a snook off this structure before. So we're learning a little something today.
Oh, another one. There we go. Not a big in, but it's a fish. And he crushed the Rapala. Look at that pretty little snook. another one wow Whew. <laughs> he almost jumped in the kayak this is a nicer one right here crushed the fishaholic fin back pretty sweet we're getting on a nice little artificial snook bite That's not a bad one, probably about like 25, 26 inches maybe. And there she goes. All right, well, pretty sweet. So we're getting all a little snook bite along the rocks here. And as you can see back there now, the sun is setting. So we probably only have like 10 or 15 minutes left of filmable daylight. So I want to just do my outro now. So thank, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and uh, we're gonna i guess spend the next like 15 minutes or so before it gets dark uh, just doing what we're doing and hopefully we'll uh, get a few more snooks so if i catch any i will add it to the end of the video and if not then uh, until the next vid live to fish fish to live